Hello everybody, it's Georgia obviously and welcome back to my channel. I don't think anybody understands the struggles I'm going through to be able to make this video. So today, I'm here with you today to do the top video. You know that I have been waiting for this parcel for so long. I am literally blinding myself right now with this light. I'm too ill to cope with all this. Because I did promise you I would do a first impressions video, I'm gonna be doing it today no matter how ill I am. I literally only have an hour to film this because everything will be flooding back in. In about an hour's time, I'll be getting sniffly nose. I'll just wanna go to sleep. So yeah, today we're gonna be looking at everything in here. And if you're wondering why I'm looking behind you, it's because I can see on the screen what I'm looking at here. Let's just start because honestly, I am blinded right now. I can't even see the camera because the light is literally right underneath the camera and I need to just get this over and done with, so yeah. So the first thing that we're gonna be using today is the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. Um, this is supposed to be really blendable and this retails for 27 pounds. And it just looks like this. It's a really cute bottle and it has sort of a wood texture on the top. Don't know what that's all about. But this is gonna be my base. So we're just gonna go straight into it. I am in the color Fair Neutral. So it just looks like that. And we're going to apply it now. Ooh. It might be a little bit too light for me, I don't know. Hopefully not. Okay, so that is all we're going to apply. Now I'm just going to try and blend in. <laughs> this is so hard to blend, oh my god. So about two solid minutes of just trying to blend that in, I'd say the coverage is alright, it's not as good as my Revolution one, but I didn't use that much product, so maybe I should just give that a hit and miss. But yeah, it, it's really lightweight, I mean it's not so creamy, but... It looks all right, I guess. Next, I'm gonna be going in with the Amazonian Clay Waterproof 24 Hour Concealer. I've used none of this, by the way. I haven't swatched anything except from the lipstick on my hand and the highlighter on my hand. I haven't used it on my cheek yet. So this is what it looks like. The packaging kind of reminds me of a fountain pen and it just looks like that. So it's another twisty thing. So I'm just going to, oh, that looks really orange. I may have picked out the wrong shade. And I'm just gonna do some spots up there and have it like that. It looks a little bit orange, but we're just gonna try and get through that. to say I am pretty impressed but it's it's not the best concealer I've ever tried um it's it's done pretty well I mean I I don't really know what to think about it right now I think I'm gonna have to use it a few times to really get a full-on opinion about it right now I'm not as impressed as I thought I'd be with it considering the price I'm just gonna be setting my face with a translucent powder because it's really shiny and you know I don't like shiny skin okay so I've covered up my face and 
next I'm going to be doing my eyebrows, my eyelids, none of which I have bought from Tarte. So I will be using my own makeup and I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, so I've gone for a really subtle eye look because I'm not really focusing on the eye makeup. So I have just put a bit of contour and highlight in my eyes. Um, so now I'm going to move on to the gel eyeliner. Now don't judge me if I get this really, really badly. I've never ever done a gel eyeliner before, but I bought it because I just thought it would be fun to try out a new way with eyeliner because you know I can't go anywhere without a bit of eyeliner. <laughs> so I have the Amazonian Clay Waterproof Liner and this is the clay pot one and this retails for £17 I think. It just looks like this, it's really small considering the pot is this big, I think it's a lot of wasted space but oh well, it's very weighty. So this is what it looks like. Again, never done this before. Oh, so you, you do have to pick up a lot. So I don't know how this is going to turn out. <laughs> oh my god, that's all I can say is oh my god i really can't do it <laughs> it looks really bad really really bad but do you know what we're just going to ignore it and do the other eye because <laughs> okay at least this is a black top <laughs> are you supposed to wet this brush beforehand please tell me you are See, I told you, I'm blind. This is all going bad for me today, isn't it? Okay, so I give up on the gel eyeliner. Each side is terribly, terribly wrong. They're both unequal, but that's the point of this video, to show you that I can't do this. Anyway, to move me on from my embarrassment, I'm going to be doing my eyelashes with the lights camera lashes 4-in-1 mascara i think this is 21 pounds i've never seen a mascara come like this before i've seen a lot of good reviews about this mascara so i really am not expecting to be disappointed all right lights camera lashes make me look fabulous Holy crap! I'm really impressed. Ignore the line that I created going up towards my eyebrow with the gel eyeliner, but I'm actually really impressed with this. As you guys know, if you have watched my makeup collection video, my favourite mascara is my NYX Double Stacked, and I think that this may have just beaten it. I don't know. I refuse to put mascara on until we take away this eyeliner and correct it. I am not making myself look like a failure. I told you guys, my house is haunted. Okay, round two. I'm blind a minute. I'm going to have to wait for my eyesight to come back. Okay. Okay, so this eye is just really thick, but honestly, I cannot be bothered to do it again. I think I'm just going to have to leave it there. That's the best we're going to do today, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't fart. That was my chair. <laughs> I'm really impressed. 20%? Are you, are you kidding me? Okay, so we are on 20%. We're going to have to really hurry through this. The next product I'm going to be using is the Tartist Lip Paint in the colour Get It. I'm so excited about this. Packaging just looks like the classic bottle or packaging that you would find in your mum's purse. And you listen, and I just got it all over my leg. But I don't care because I need to hurry because of how quickly my camera decides to go down when it's at 20%. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, this 
so I don't know if you can tell but it's really really streaky but I'm liking the colour so because I need to really quickly wrap this up I'm going to quickly go in with the Tarte Rainbow Highlighter and this is the thing I'm most excited about I'm keeping the packaging it's going to go right next to my Versace pot this is so incredibly pretty and it smells amazing this is what it looks like I'm going to quickly go in with some on my cheeks so we're going to take the whole lot because that's what I'm all about. It doesn't say it's blinding, but I'm really expecting it to be. Ooh. Okay. I must say that my cheek now smells like a donut. And then I'm just going to take a little bit in the inner corner of my eye and then some under my brow bone. I just stuck my finger in the highlighter. So that is all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm starting to get really tired and really droopy and achy. My skin is really sensitive to touch my sniffles are coming back i really need to lie down i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what would you what you would like to see next would you like to see a desk tour or would you like to see this stick foundation versus this stick foundation this is the five pounds one this is the 17 pound one i don't know I can't remember but I would love to do a video comparing these two together so comment down below which video you'd prefer to watch also please hit that subscribe button I've probably already said that but please do it please please I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all very very soon bye Ooh. oh my god it doesn't even feel like it's anything on my lips shut bye guys